What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of B&B Fishing. Today we are going to be working on the Skeeter Bass Boat again. Um, it's a 1988 uh, SD80 Skeeter if you don't already know that. But I think this should be part three. Part three would have been me putting all the Sea Deck on the hatches and stuff. But that video got corrupted so I couldn't really upload it. But right now we are putting the final Sea Deck in. And uh, let me show you the parts that you guys missed because basically I couldn't show you because of the video corruption, but here is the C deck I just cut out um, that we're putting in the floor. But we got that one up there done, and the ones back here. And we've redone the floor. We put sheet metal down, and then fiberglass coated it over so it's super strong again. And uh, I sanded down all the hatches a good, real good. And um, I've started on the wiring. <laughs> got a little hungry right there, but we got all the uh, C deck on the hatches done. And we got the new depth finder right there. And we've really been working on it hard. I don't remember what y'all seen, but here are the side runner boards I made for it. And uh, yeah, we got the new transducer, mount, transducer mounted. And these sides are actually a rubber diamond plate, so it's real smooth. It'll uh, be real easy on the boat and stuff. So that's gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah. So I figured I'd pick up the camera and I'm going to video me putting this in. I'm going to probably put you on a little time lapse. We're going to silicone it down and then peel this back off. It's got the 3M adhesive on it. But first got to vacuum the inside of the floor out and uh, then we should be able to get started. So I'll see y'all on the time lapse.
some fun Little country party To the woods we run Little backyard party Go Alright guys, so um As you can tell, it's, it's the next day Um, I put you guys on a little time lapse It's actually the end of the day And I'm gonna be working on the boat tomorrow So I'm too But I'm just gonna show you basically what I did in depth So We got the floor in And she looks pretty sick. Uh, you probably seen, yeah, you should have seen me um, doing that. I put it on a time lapse. I did it all myself, basically. Um, my dad helped me cut it, cut the uh, what you call it, like the stencil out, so I could cut this out. But I cut it out, and I put the things back in there, the little drains. I got to cut a piece right over there um, to fit because it wasn't wide enough. But we got basically all the sea deck done in the boat for uh, for now. Um, you seen me, I took the rims and tires off, or the rims off, and I painted them, because, uh, you may have, ne may not, may or may not know, they were looking pretty rough, but they are looking nice and beautiful now. Um, I've been working on the wiring all day. Uh, I painted the steering wheel, I can show you guys that. Because it was looking pretty, pretty rough too, so the steering wheel's all painted now. Um. Right now I'm working on the wiring, um, I'm wiring up all my courtesy lights, and this is all wired up, and I'm in the process of putting switches in, but um, it's about to be dark, and I'll turn these few lights I got on, got wired up so far on for you guys to see, show you what they look at, looking like, goodness I can't talk, and I got um, all this fixed, I'll show you this when, I'm, when it's dark, but this right here is the trim for the back. Um, this aerator, I got all these switches working, the gauges are working, this is working, the trim's working good, and uh, basically, we're getting to basically almost being done with it. Um, I had to rewire the trailer wires, because they were falling apart, um, I don't have them zip tied up yet, but I uh, crimped them together with new um, butt, butt splices, and then this little focus. Um, there we go. Um, and then I put heat shrink over them and heated those up so they're completely waterproof now. Um, I gotta bowl them back up. And, you know, as you know, we got all this on. Got basically all the sea deck on. I gotta, I'm saving up for the new seats and you guys are gonna love the new seats. They're so cool. If you haven't seen the depth finder yet, um, my uncle hooked me up with that. Um, the new seats are sick. Um, I gotta have like a two hundred dollars to get those, so I'm saving up for those right now. Cause this sea deck is a lot of money, but we got everything really good. There's the live well. The sea deck looks amazing, guys. And oh, I put that wheel back on for the jack. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta cut a piece for right here too. It wasn't long enough, but right there. And that's basically about it. Um, I got a radio I'm getting for it and new speakers. I might even put subs under the seats because it's got spots in there you can put them. And uh, yeah, I got to do some cleaning up. But everything's coming along. And I might as well just show you guys the motor. Um, let's take this off. Here she is. This is the old unit that powers the boat. Um, She's a beaut, and everything on this motor runs good, besides, I gotta get a new water pump for it, because it runs hot on the water, um, the original owner says, so we're gonna get that fixed, or me and my dad are gonna fix it one, but besides that, this boat is basically almost ready to bring to the lake, and y'all's brightness is getting super high, there you go, but yeah, it's all coming along, so I guess I'll catch you guys when it's dark, and I'll show you the lights I have set up so far. Alright guys, we're out here in the boat now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got hooked up so far. So, we flip the switch. Hold on. Oh, there we go. We got light right here. And it's lighting this hole inside up. I haven't got that one over there wired up. I don't know if you can see it right there. But then this hole inside of the floor in the deck will be lit up. And then I have a courtesy light right here. That's going to be bolted right here. So you can see all under there. And then all the the gauges are working right there and right there. I haven't got this one working yet. 
and the trim is working as well. It's working up here too. Um, but these lights really light up the inside of the hole real nice. So this is going to be sick right here on the water. Especially when we're catfishing. That one right there when it lights up. Um, I guess I can show you guys. It'll look awesome out on the water. Here, let's take this. You guys might not be able to see right now. I'm just going to wire it up with a battery real quick. Just to show you what it's looking like. But I know I'll be able to catfish in this at night. I'll be able to see everything I'm doing in the boat. And I got it all wired up on the one switch, so all the lights are going to be really, really helpful. Especially early morning tournaments. Those, that'll help too when I'm rigging up. But, uh oh. We got problems. What do we got? What's up? What this? Oh wait, I think I had it backwards. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Let me show you guys. There we go. This whole inside is lit up now. And I got the one over there, so that looks really cool. And, uh, yeah. It's all going good. I can't wait to get this puppy out on the water. But let's let the motor back all the way down. And we got a switch right here. And, yeah. Let's turn these out. It's coming along good.